Hello everyone, welcome to Target Focus Life. My name's Steve and today I'm taking a look at the top five pump shotguns of 2022. You wanna see which ones made the list? Let's go. This year I reviewed a whole bunch of pump shotguns, but there's only five that can make the top five list. We're looking at five different categories. We're going from best clay shooting pump shotgun, best duck hunting, best upland, best all purpose, and then best bang for the buck. Our top five categories, let's jump right in with the best clay shooting pump shotgun. Now I have not shot all the pump shotguns, I've shot a lot of the main ones. As the years go on, my list may change as I shoot more and more shotguns. Starting with the best clay shooting pump shotgun, I have selected the Browning BPS. The Browning BPS has been around for a long time, just a great all around shotgun. Very smooth action. Decent ergonomics, love the bottom eject if you're right or left-handed, this gun will work for you. It has the top tang safety, so again, whether you're right or left-handed, it will work for you. It has a pretty decent recoil pad on it, pretty soft shooter for a pump shotgun, well-balanced, a little heavy, which again, if we're shooting clays, isn't the end of the world. Maybe I don't wanna walk all day with this shotgun, but just a great all-around shotgun. It's one of the more expensive pump shotguns on the market, but definitely a quality gun. And if I was going to the clay range, this is the gun I would grab. Stepped up rib, love it. It's the Browning BPS. Now we're gonna take a look at the best shotgun to take into the duck blind. It is the Benelli Nova. This thing is a tank, super rugged, great grips. You can see all the grooves or whatever you want to call them in this gun. If you had gloves on, wet hands, whatever it would be, this shotgun is going to operate. It's chunky, a little chunkier than I'd like. Definitely wouldn't choose this as my upland gun, but we're talking waterfall. We're talking duck hunting in the duck blind. Just a tank of a gun, easy to take apart solid operation, it is the Benelli Nova. Now I also reviewed the Benelli Supernova earlier this year, and I just determined that the price difference between the Nova and Supernova, I couldn't really justify it in my mind, not saying you can't, but I would just go with the Nova. Great waterfowling gun, camo options as well. If I'm going duck hunting, grabbing the Benelli Nova. But what if we're not duck hunting? What if we're walking the field all day long? We're in North Dakota, South Dakota, the prairies across the Midwest, and we're chasing pheasants or we're chasing grouse in the Northwoods. What's that one pump shotgun that I would go to? I have to be honest, I think I would grab the Remington 870 Wingmaster. Now, Remington, if you watched my review earlier this year on the 870 line, is now manufactured by Rem Arms. Remington went bankrupt. Rem Arms purchased the license or the name brand to manufacture Remington firearms. So they are now being manufactured by this new brand. I was able to shoot this Wingmaster. It's a pretty gun. Like when I go out upland hunting, just a plain black gun, it doesn't feel the same to me, right? To have a nice wood gun in the field. The Wingmaster has a very smooth action. It's got a distinct sound to it. Feels good in the hands, a bit heavier on the recoil than I would like. Although they do have a fairly decent recoil pad, you could always throw a Falcon Strike on there. Has a slightly stepped up rib, which I definitely like while pheasant hunting. Great overall gun. This is the one I would grab if I'm heading out upland hunting. The next category is all purpose gun. Now this gun is a gun that I haven't shot much over the years until recently. It was my very first shotgun period, not just pump shotgun, first shotgun. It is the Mossberg 500. I shot it a lot right away, and then I got into semi-autos and started getting more and more guns, and I went away from shooting it. I recently did a review on this, and I have just kind of came back to Mossberg and seen them as just a quality shotgun maker of value guns. You just want an all around, all purpose shotgun. The Mossberg 500 is a great option for that. When I bought this gun, I wanted to hunt ducks, I wanted to hunt pheasants, and I wanted to hunt deer. So I got a combo 
with a bird barrel and a slug barrel. Just an all around utility gun. The weak point of the Mossberg 500, in my opinion, is this rock solid recoil pad. I'm definitely putting a Falcon Strike on this gun if I'm gonna be shooting a lot. I do like the ported barrel. Mossberg 500, it's just a workhorse. It just gets it done. Now, some of you might already be asking the question, what about the 870 Express, which is actually no longer in current production? Rem Arms is manufacturing the 870 Fieldmaster, and the price point is quite a bit higher than the Mossberg 500. I'm not saying anything's wrong with the Fieldmaster, but just for an all-around gun at a decent value, Mossberg 500 is my pick. Now, moving in to the best bang for the buck, this was a fairly easy decision for me. Looking at quality to price ratio, the Winchester SXP pump shotgun. The SXP has a MSRP or manufacturer's suggested retail price lower than all of these guns here. And it's a fantastic quality gun, one that you can really do just about anything with. When it comes to bang for the buck, it is hard to beat the Winchester SXP. Kind of downside of this gun, I always think their forearm grip, their action grip is quite slick. There's not much for texture. The other problem I've noticed with uh, these SXPs and SX4s is their fiber bead on the end likes to spin off. Most of the time I just take it off because I don't want to be distracted by that. I want to see the bird, not my bead. There is a quick look at my top five picks for pump shotguns across all five categories. Now put it in the comments. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? On which ones? Put it in there if you think, hey, if I'm going pheasant hunting, this gun's better. Put it in the comments. Love to hear your feedback. Also, in the next couple weeks, I got some other top five videos coming out of over-unders and semi-auto shotguns, so stay tuned for that. Remember, whether you're in the field or in life, you're only gonna hit those shots, you're laser-focused on. So live target-focused. See ya!